What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And today we're on location at Jack in the Box to talk about their two brand new teriyaki bowls. So we have got the beef or steak version. I guess what do they call it? Beef? Beef teriyaki. So in this you've got some some beef, you got some mixed veggies, seem to be broccoli, carrots predominantly. And then underneath you've got some white rice. They are also available in brown rice though. And then we've got the chicken variety, which of course just replaces that beef with chicken. Once again, very heavy on the broccoli with some carrots inside on the veggies and some white rice on the bottom. So these are not completely new because they have, they, man, they've introduced teriyaki bowls ever since the 80s for like very limited time periods. Every few years they tend to come back. I've never actually had them. Have you ever tried one of them, Ryan, uh, when they've come out? So, you know, it um, seems interesting. It's one of those things that if a major fast food chain is going to end up coming out with teriyaki bowls, pretty much kind of has to be Jack in the Box. I guess unless you consider like, I don't know, Panda Express a major fast food chain, which let's face it, it's not. Is Jack in the Box always doing just anything? Anything that's food, Jack in the Box, they'll try it. So, um, I don't know, what should we do first? Maybe beef? Maybe alphabetically? Beef it up. All right, so we're going to beef it up. You know, it looks kind of similar to the beef that they put in those Philly cheesesteaks around Super Bowl time. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, underneath, there's, there's what it looks like. But, um, yeah, decent helping of rice. The bowl's got some weight to it. Um, and it better, I mean, these, these are hovering right around the $7 mark for just the bowl, so um, pretty steep. I think that the, the beef version is $6.99 and the chicken version is $6.49. So definitely on the more expensive end of fast food offering. So um, yeah, hopefully it's worth the money, let's see. All right, so here, here's a bite with some, uh, some good veggies there and some beef and some rice. Very hot. Mm. You know, the teriyaki has actually made that beef pretty tender. You know, my, my big criticism of the Philly cheesesteak that they came out with was that the beef was tough to chew, right? It was like a, like a chewy fajita beef. This is actually a much, um, much softer, much smoother chew. And uh, I think that the teriyaki sauce is really good. Um, really just has a, has a good flavor. It's obviously a little bit salty, but that's gonna be the case with any teriyaki. Um, broccoli's got a nice, nice crispiness to it. It's good, good texture. Very solid. Ryan? You want me to, you want me to spoon it out it for you? It might be too hard, it might be too hard. Okay. There you go, give it a shot, be careful. All right, so, um, so yeah, pretty good first impression. I gotta say for um, teriyaki beef, I'd say this is, this is pretty, pretty close to the best case scenario. Pretty happy with it. So the chicken's got a high bar to, to reach up to. I think so far I'm digging, I'm digging the bowl thing. So that's the, another look at the teriyaki chicken. I'll peel that back. This one's got a, quite a bit more veggies on the bottom there. And then the white rice. The white rice, once again, is, uh, you know, just real, real soft, like a real like steam rice kind of, kind of vibe to it. Pretty good. So let's see what the uh, chicken has to offer. Once again, super tender. Teriyaki sauce is just really, really good. I mean, I'd say that's like, that's as good as any Chinese food restaurant in terms of teriyaki sauce. They did a really good job on that. 
The chicken, um, although it doesn't, it doesn't really look all that appetizing, actually is really good, really tender, and um, pairs really well with the sauce, with the veggies. And uh, I gotta say, this is this is one of the stronger Jack in the Box menu items right now. It really is. A treat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's your hefty, hefty, hefty helping there. So yeah, pretty good. You can see why it keeps coming back. It, it doesn't give me the impression that uh, it would be a, like a super big hit here. Like I don't think that the teriyaki bowls are gonna be a permanent menu item probably ever. But a really, I'd say a really, uh, really pleasant surprise in terms of something that, um, that pops up on menus every few years. Something that I definitely would check out again. Um, so I'm gonna get right into the gimmick grade. I'd say the gimmick of, uh, of a teriyaki bowl at a, at a traditional fast food restaurant is, is, is pretty strange, pretty, pretty. It is, but like for some reason at Jack in the Box, it doesn't feel strange. You know what I mean? Like it almost makes, it almost give, you almost give them less credit because you just expect them to be so innovative with their menu offerings. But I still give it a, I give it a six out of 10. You know, it's certainly not anything that I'm, I could ever imagine at other the, you know, like a Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's. Can't imagine them doing it, um, but I'm very glad that Jack in the Box did it. And, uh, you know, not a bad idea. Now, in terms of the capsule countdown, I gotta say, I'm gonna give second place to chicken, which, you know, I'm pretty surprised by. I, I usually am a little bit underwhelmed by the, by the beef and steak offerings here at Jack in the Box, but man, this, in this case, it did knock it out of the park. So it's not that chicken wasn't as good because it was, you know, very tender and um, had a really good flavor. It's really more just a reflection of how good the beef version was. So um, I'm actually gonna give, I'm gonna give the chicken a seven and a half. I think it's really good. Um, I guess really the biggest downfall is the most obvious one. I mean, you're pushing $7 for this with no sides, no drink. I mean, that's, that's a lot for a, you know, fast food commitment, especially for a menu item that you probably haven't tried before certainly on the more pricey end of the spectrum. So I'd like to see them drop that price to around the $5 range, if at all possible. Apparently it isn't because they probably would have. But um, it, you know, it's, 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 but it's hefty, tastes good. So um, heavy, bowls. heavy bowls, as they say. So <laughs> uh, first place, gotta go to the beef teriyaki bowl. Um, definitely exceeded my expectations in terms of what Jack in the Box was capable of with the um, with the beef, because it is that fajita style beef that um, can be definitely closer to the miss side most of the time here. But um, really, I think mixing it with the teriyaki, mixing it with the teriyaki, the, the preparation I think was um, really elevated it pretty nicely. I don't think that these are over sauced. I think it's the perfect amount of sauce. Not under sauce, not over sauce, just like perfect right in the middle there. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10, I think. Definitely a solid menu item. Oh. I mean, what do you think, Ryan? Yeah. You pretty pretty happy with these? So, <laughs> I gotta say, really to really say, good. Is the broccoli crunchy? The bro the broccoli is a little bit crunchy. I mean, it's it's yeah, it's pretty crunchy. I'll I'll, I'll just broccoli it. It's a good it's a good mix of like. It's not super crunchy. I mean, it's right. it's been soaking in that sauce and boiling and stuff. So it's not it's not super crunchy, but it does it adds that good that good bite to the bowl. I think that um, I think that broccoli was the right call. It could use some more carrots um, or really just more vegetables in general. You know, a teriyaki bowl I think benefits from more vegetables, but. You know, the broccoli is really the most important. Broccoli and beef, that's just a match made in heaven for like a teriyaki product. So really good job, eight out of 10 on the bowl. And um, really guys, I hope that you just had a chance to check out our taste tournament of the uh, 12 different flavors of Lay's that just came out. But if you haven't, watch CTC Review 101 to 105 from earlier this week, because uh, we had a lot of fun trying 12 different flavors of Lay's and uh, we did a tournament style. I think you guys are really gonna like it. So go back and check that out. And really guys, till next time, I will miss you 
until I see you. Cheers.